morning guys. It is Vlogmas Day 10 and Liv and I are gonna go for breakfast at the new Yolks location. And I love Yolks. If you guys ever come to Vancouver, or, you know, need something to do, definitely check them out. It's the best breakfast place ever. So yeah, check it out. We're gonna go eat now. Thank you so much. Um, I think we're good. Thank you. I got the pancakes and bacon, and they've got an eggs Benny with bacon. And the truffle lemon hash browns are literally the best thing ever. If you ever come, you have to order them. Look at all our stuff. <laughs> I'm leaving here with a bunch of like makeup and like new shoes and all this other stuff. So now she has to figure out how to carry it all. Sorry. Struggle. <laughs> and I'm being a terrible friend and not driving her to the ferry because I have stuff to do. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Can we just take a moment for the safety pins that are on your backpack? Like great it's, DIY there, bruh. It's called fashion. Look at it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so entertaining. You're gonna take up like five seats. Didn't you have one more bag? Uh, two more. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> okay, you're good, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> okay, I think that's okay, if not, I'll mail it to you. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. bye Liv. I love you. Bye. It's now bath time and I'm going to use this bath bomb from Lush. I don't remember what this one was called, but I'm sure it will be lovely. And I think for my face mask today, I'm going to use this one from Bliss. It's a mask and a peel. So this is a rubberizing mask. I've never tried anything like this and I think you like add water and then make a little, little concoction and then put it on your face. So we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, I have showered, I have applied my self tanner. It is so dark on my face, but I wanted to get it kind of applied early so I can wash it off tonight before I go to bed. I just used the Loving Tan Original Mousse in Dark, so I love it. It works so well and it makes me the darkest I've ever been. Obviously, I'm like super dark right now, but then when I wash it off, it looks a little less intense. Um, so I'm basically going to show you guys what I'm packing and different things like that. I did a lot of it last night with Olivia, which was so great because I never really have help when I pack and she was really great for like helping me pick out outfits and finding things. So this is pretty much the situation so far. So I'm going to use my packing cubes. If you guys don't know about packing cubes, I'll link them down below, but I love these ones. I got them last year before New Zealand and they make traveling so much easier. Although I feel like this trip, it's a little bit less organized. So this is kind of like skirts and dresses. That's a bathing suit cover up. This is mostly tops. And then we have bottoms and random things in this one, a little cardigan. And then I like to use these pouches here. There is a couple of them for like underwear and bras and then bathing suits. And then I'm also bringing these shoes that I got at Target recently. I love them so much and I haven't worn them yet. So those are coming with me, but that is pretty much like all the clothes I need to bring. I just need to pack up like my toiletries and then do my carry on, which is going to be that box or that suitcase over there and I'm gonna bring like um, like this which is like for the airplane and then I also want to bring a little tote to use as a beach bag while I'm there this one is from benefit and the reason I have half the suitcase untouched is because Cody and I are sharing a suitcase for this trip which God help us I don't know how well that's gonna go because you guys know I'm an overpacker I have literally not been on a home return flight where I haven't paid the overweight baggage fees like all year basically. So I am gonna try really hard not to have to pay overweight fees this time. So I'm gonna like keep it to what's packed already and then pack my toiletries and then that's gonna be it for my check bag. And then for my carry on, I'll have more more delicate stuff like my bags and my curling tool, like curling hot tools, I guess it would be. And um, like the purse I wanna bring, which is, um, my little like round one, I'm sure you guys have seen it. I have it over here. So this is a little wicker purse I'm talking about. I got it at the Melrose Trading Post when I was in LA last and it is so, so cute and I actually bought it for this trip. I had it in mind. So that's gonna come with me but I'm gonna put that in my carry-on and probably put my sunglasses in here so they stay safe. And then I'll probably end up bringing um, this hat cause it's so cute and I kinda want another picture in it. So that'll probably just go like flat on top of my uh, packing cubes. Cody's just packing up all of Noodle's stuff because he's going to go visit a friend for a week. He's going to go stay at Auntie Randy's house and he's so excited. Aww. Goodbye, Noodle. We'll see you when you get back, okay? I love you. Sorry, you can't come with me. I know you'll fit my suitcase, but you can't come. 
So this is the makeup bag I'm going to be bringing. It is from Benefit and I love it. It is brand new and I really wanted to use it and I'm gonna try my best to fit all of my makeup and toiletries in this one bag and have this be everything. So I did my toiletry side. There's like face wash and shampoo and conditioner or shampoo. Shampoo and conditioner, yeah. And uh, sunscreen, we got a face mask, we got a micellar water, we got nail glue, we got like a facial spray, a scrub, a lotion, a body wash. Um, there's a little night cream, a razor, and then some other random stuff and face masks in the back. And then for the makeup side, I just have some like Q-tips and Kleenex, and then these are all the makeup goodies. Usually my toughest thing and what takes up the most space is different foundations I bring because I usually start off on a trip like tan and then I end up like being a little bit paler but for this trip I'm just going to be bringing this it cosmetics um, compact serum type of thing confidence in a compact it's so great and I forgot how much I loved it so I'm bringing this this is going to be my foundation and the best thing is it has SPF which is perfect for Mexico these are the five brushes I'm bringing this one is for that and then this is contour blush and then some eye brushes and then I have my brow stuff here a new eyelash curler my shade and light palette from Kat Von D that looks <laughs> ratchet um, I'm bringing this powder, this palette for eyeshadow, that's it, and then other eye stuff. I have a primer, a glitter, a liner, and two mascaras. Um, I'm not bringing any false lashes on this trip, which is new for me, so pray for me. <laughs> I'm bringing concealer, a little primer, a couple perfumes. We have a highlight palette, a blush, a setting spray, and then these are my lip choices. So I have a lipstick and three liquid lips, all in different shades, a lip oil, and then my liner. So that is all the makeup I'm going to bring. I'm not going to add anything else to this. This should be... Plenty, honestly. I don't really want to wear makeup a whole bunch while I'm there anyway. All right, team, the game of Tetris has been won. Everything fits. The only little thing is my eyelash curler is peeking out, but we're gonna let it go. And also, um, I forgot to put in my setting spray, but it managed to fit somehow. So, boom, toiletries are done. This probably weighs five pounds. Yeah, but hey, it's all in there, it's all in there. All right, we are in full packing mode over here. How you feeling, Code? Well, you excited? Yeah. We're gonna go to Mexico. That's what we're doing. Yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? The most. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are probably just gonna finish up packing, eat dinner, and then go to sleep. So that is pretty well where I'm going to leave you guys for this evening and you guys know that I'm pre-filming all these vlogs so by the time you're watching this I will already be in Mexico and posting on Instagram and stuff like that if you're confused or anything on there but yeah definitely follow me to see what we're doing in real time and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a new vlog when we go to Mexico. Yay for travel vlogs!